Aloha, welcome to Chappie's Tiki Bar. I'm Chappie, uh, we got a great episode today. Uh, I'm making trash can nachos for Appies with Chappie uh, by the lake. Uh, make sure you stay to the very end where I'm reunited with my little Chihuahua Mookie. Uh, first up, we're gonna make a drink. I'm getting this uh, from Frankie's Tiki Room in fantastic Las Vegas. Uh, the name of the book is Liquid Vacation by P. Moss, who is also the owner of Frankie's Tea Room. And this is called The Ripper. Uh, it says, beware of false courage offered by this boozy delight. Keep anchored to a bar stool with your seatbelt on. All right, uh, so the first ingredient calls for one ounce of Kettle One Citron Vodka. Uh, I made my own citrus infused vodka. I'm just gonna come around and show you here. So I just put some uh, lemon in the vodka and it's been uh, sitting there marinating for a good a day or so. Uh, so this is the substitute for Citron Kettle One Vodka. I also got like a top shelf vodka, Grey Goose. So that is the first ingredient. So I'm gonna build this in a shaker. All right, so I got one ounce of my uh, homemade citrus infused vodka. And then a half ounce of Midori uh, melon liqueur. Uh, this is a beautiful green colored liqueur. It's gonna uh, give the drink an interesting color. And then a half ounce of, it says Krizan coconut rum. I'm just gonna Substitute Malibu today, it's also coconut flavored. And then a half ounce of cream de banana. And a half ounce of milk. I, I'm just using a 2%. And two ounces of pineapple juice. Give that a little shake up here. I got a nice margarita glass and I'm gonna double strain that. Nice uh, umbrella garnish. And oh, I got the name of the uh, drink wrong. It's actually called Tide Ripper. So that's a Tide Ripper. Uh, coming up next, we got Appies with Chappie uh, by the lake. All right, so I'm gonna do some trash can nachos for Appies with Chappie by the lake. I think I saw this in one of Guy Fieri's uh, restaurants. Uh, so I'm just gonna build up the uh, nachos in this uh, coffee can. So for my base, I got some refried beans. That's gonna hold everything in place, I hope. can down all right so we'll go over the chips and we'll put some pickled jalapenos down layer of 
chip. And we'll go some cheddar cheese. sauce, more chips, and a mozzarella cheese. Hopefully the cheese will act as a good binder. Now we'll do some tomatoes on the top. And we'll see that, how that goes. Okay, I got my trash can nachos out of the oven and we'll see how if it holds together. Well, <laughs> it looks a bit like a dog's breakfast, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Aloha, welcome to Appy's with Chappie by the Lake. So I got my trash can nachos. Uh, so I'm gonna make a drink to go with that. Uh, now this is actually a Chappie's Tiki Bar original. This is a riff on a blushing Cuban. So a blushing Cuban is um, passion fruit juice, um, raspberry juice, and rum, and a uh, raspberry liqueur. So I call this a blushing Hawaiian because I'm gonna use uh, pineapple juice and mango rum so uh, this is a shaken drink so we'll go two ounces of pineapple juice A half ounce of Malibu mango rum. Actually, it's a mango flavored liqueur. It's technically not a rum, I don't think. And we'll go a full ounce of raspberry liqueur. This is actually a local product from Okanagan Spirits Craft Distillery, uh, right here in Western Canada. So a full ounce of raspberry liqueur. And we'll go a splash of lime. Whoops. We'll go a splash of lime. And we'll give that a nice shake. And strain that into a martini glass. Got a nice orange wedge as a garnish. And that's my blushing Hawaiian, give it a try. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, so that concludes another episode of Chappie's Tiki Bar. Make sure you hit that notification bell. This is Chappie saying life is hard. That's just the way it goes, but sometimes it goes the other way. See you next time on Chappie's Tiki Bar.